Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I realize it's been forever since I made a video and I'm sincerely, um, from the bottom of my heart, sorry for that. Uh, life has just been super hectic, uh, mixed in, trying to move into my, our, our new house still, get everything we, the way we like it. Both of us are working, um, training, uh, daylight savings time, the holidays, and it, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, the only time I really had to fish is at night and i can't really record videos for you all at night which is ironic because my last three muskie have been caught at night but trying to get a daytime video of me out catching fish like i do in the spring summer and fall it's just um it's been hard to do and tonight i kind of realized like hey i need to make a video you know I've, I've, i'm not going to be able to get everything perfect and just so to make a little vlog video i need to start putting out content to you all that way i don't lose touch with you all and keep you updated and uh, because i don't it, it's not a lack of content in general there's things i can do to make videos but i realize that i don't just have to make videos of me fishing i want to talk to you all i want to uh, interact with you all and show you that i'm still out doing what i love to do um and that i still want to share that with you all so i know i'm rambling but i've got a lot of stuff on my mind i want to share with you all really quick i want you all to see a few clips from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Uh, my best friend and I, um, Joe Strahl and I, went to Cape Cod. Uh, it's been about a little over a month, month ago now. It was amazing. If you ever get to go to Cape Cod, Massachusetts, I highly recommend it. That place just was a feel-good place. I enjoyed myself the entire time I was there, even when I wasn't fishing. The weather was perfect. The people were great. Uh, we even ran into like three, three or four old salty fishermen down there they were just like 70 80 years old and just sit there and talk crap to us and got us down the road about a bunch of things and then joked with us and we thought it was great um it was just a great time so check it out we you throwing same thing yeah. figures googan big daddy version, big daddy version. I don't think I ever hit bottom. There it is. Man, do you see that windshield over there, or wind, windmill over there? Turning. Fish on. Right. Yeah. Right nice. <laughs> He's shaking like a blue. I don't know. No, he's digging. It might not be a blue. Musky. <laughs> Striper. You're all right. I'm just enjoying the moment, man.
I felt it thump it a couple times. My first Cape Cod striper right there. Love that. Man, that's awesome. I feel so accomplished. Now you gotta get in the water without hurting yourself. Yeah. Careful octopus don't come up and grab your arm. <laughs> Humboldt. Angry. That's beautiful. Nice. Well done, sir. Uh, so that was my one and only Cape Cod striper. Unfortunately, Joe didn't catch anything. Uh, I missed a couple, um, and we saw bait being busted on top uh, a couple couple mornings. But trying to drive 12 hours down or up there, sleep, figure out the tides, get tackle, and figure out where we needed to be when the fish were biting was just hectic. Uh, and But I feel like we accomplished something. We learned a lot and we'll definitely be ready for our next trip uh, but it was uh, it was just a blast now i have not been able to get any daytime footage for you all of musky I'll, I'll put I'll, I'll back that up consistent daytime footage for you all of musky bass crappie stuff like that i have tremendous days fishing but it's usually after i've tried in the morning to make a video tried in the afternoon to make a video Put the camera away and guess what i catch fish all evening and all night um but daylight savings time has really pushed my fishing strictly to the evenings and it has led to me catching my last three musky all at night um now my last three musky have all been caught not fishing for musky uh the first one uh, to let you see the picture here i caught it on a little swim bait bouncing the bottom that was a, a, a great fight and a great surprise. Uh, the next one, kind of the same thing. This time I was using the uh, Curado 70, little tiny bait caster with eight pound mono. Uh, the muskie came up and just uh, smacked the heck out of that, that jerk bait and almost pulled the split rings apart, uh, me trying to get it in. And it was very acrobatic. Luckily I got it in, no leader, no nothing. Uh, and it didn't cut me off. But the last muskie, was really really close to beating my personal best in terms of length uh, i caught her on a on a tiny tiny little bass bait on eight pound monofilament and, and heavy current um not fishing for musky and let me tell you something when you're reeling in a 49 and a quarter inch musky on eight pound monofilament um it's just a different world and I finally got her in, uh, my buddy Tim, thank you Tim, by the way, for netting that muskie. When he got her in the net, I told him, I was like, dude, I almost kissed you on the mouth for that one. Um, but it was, I was just beside myself, I was so excited. And, and Tim and I have kind of figured out over the past couple months that um, there's a pretty significant night bite where we're at. And we've been taking advantage of it, and it feels pretty, pretty good. So um, that's a couple updates in the fish in my fishing world. Uh, also, I, on the way to work about two weeks ago, there was this little kitten in the middle of the road that I thought had been smashed, but when I drove by, he, he raised his head, and I, I, long story short, got out, and he was bleeding so bad, had used the bathroom on himself and everything, I was like, well, I'll give it a warm place to die, so I took it to work with me. Um, but ended up, he made it through the night, made it through the week, and we got him to the vet and uh, got him nursed back to health. And now we have a uh, little kitten, and his name is Chance, and he's part of our family. Uh, so just a little, just a little make you feel good story that uh, was very unexpected one morning going to work. Um, also, I am working on several videos. Um, I've got all kinds of ideas, and and one of them is this this is the robotic swimming lure i'll get it out there for you this is a little um, jointed hard plastic swim bait that has a little propeller on the front and the way this works is once you put this in the water 
This lights up, vibrates, and swims in a big figure eight. I know, right? Ironic, because I didn't buy it for musky fishing. I bought it just to have, to, as a, it's like 20 bucks. It's like a little gimmick lure on uh, Amazon. But I was kinda amazed that it swims in a figure eight. So, what I wanna work on is number one, a review of this thing. And number two, I wanna catch a musky on this. I'm, I'm probably gonna up, upgrade the split rings. The hooks are really stout. Like they're actually saltwater stout. Um, so I might leave the hooks alone, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna upgrade the split rings most likely, and I'm gonna put that under a bobber and fish for musky with it. Uh, but yeah, that's, I've got a, a several other ideas that I want to share with you all. Um, I'm gonna try to do a giveaway. Uh, that just depends on um, the holidays and what goes on with, uh, well, we'll just leave it at that. We'll, uh, that just kind of depends on the holidays. Um, I've got, uh, I'm, I want to go to Dale Hollow uh, and smallmouth fish. Uh, I want to go to Cumberland. My buddy uh, John is going to try to take me to Cumberland. He's got the live scope, the Panoptics live scope, uh, which if you all saw the one we did on Taylorsville, is really cool to sit there and watch on the screen um, the live scope work. You know, you can watch your bait fall down on the fish finder. You can see all the fish. You just point your little transducer at it. You can see whatever you want. See the trees, see the fish, whatever. All in real time. Uh, so we're gonna go crappie fishing on Lake Cumberland with that. Uh, actually in about three and a half weeks, I will be going to Florida with my buddy Jess to, well, catch everything that swims in Florida. We're looking for sharks, tarpon, trout. Um, I'd like to get back in the river um, on my buddy's boat and see what's biting there and just make some really good videos for you all but um, I've just got a ton of ideas and I'm just gonna try to start throwing them out on the table and not really worrying too much about editing and making it look great I gotta keep you all um, gotta keep comment I gotta keep content coming to you all so uh, just bear with me I, I apologize again for not having a video out but Again, I've been busy and uh, it's time to buckle down and get stuff out to you all. But uh, yeah, leave some love down in the comments section. Let me know how long you've been on my channel. Um, if you've noticed that I've not been making videos and, and maybe shoot me a couple video ideas of what you'd like to see in the future. But there's more to come and thank you all for staying tuned to, to my channel because uh, I, I really, I've got it in my heart for you all that, uh, that I really want to entertain you all and keep stuff coming to you so thank you once again for staying a member a, a follower a subscriber of my channel um and i'm gonna work hard for you all in the coming months and years to keep content going have a good one